Ever since I was a child, I've been always interested in the bizarre, the unorthodox, the weird, the creepy, not only um, in literature and cinematography, but also in art. And when I was a child, I stumbled upon a book that genuinely freaked me out for the first time in my life. It was a book about an artist, a painter, who became my absolute favourite. Welcome, this is Check That Book, a channel where we get acquainted with the most disturbing books ever written. And today we have a special episode, so to speak. We are going to be uh, discussing a book and getting familiar with it, but it's not going to be a piece of uh, literature per se. It's not even an autobiography because nothing much, not much is known about this persona. So at the period when everyone is admiring um, the statue of David being made and um, Leonardo's works, and, and various um, depictions of um, the Virgin Mary. Um, this artist paints um, a person with a flute up his ass and people having sex in a giant clam. Yes, this is a book about Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus von Aachen, better known as Hieronymus Bosch, is probably the most famous out of the Netherlandish painters, and rightfully so. I figured this is disturbing enough of a content to share on this channel, plus I own the book, I finally found it after so many years. Oh, it's hefty. It has the full autobiography of Bosch, which is only like a couple of pages, because not much is known about said artist. This book um, is created by a rather famous uh, German publisher and contemporary art collector, Benedikt Taschen, uh, who is also the founder of the uh, Taschen Publishing House. And I need to share, by the way, I love the fleshy pink, which kind of um, mirrors the uh, fleshy pink color in most of Bosch's paintings. Let me show you. Now look at this. How epic. <gasps> it's heavy. How epic is this, you guys? Kind of looks like a triptych, doesn't it? I mean... Bosch is famous for his triptychs, and we are going to talk about them for a wee bit. Again, by no means am I an art critic. I know nothing about art, honestly. But it doesn't mean that one cannot have a favorite painter, right? Right. And of course, mine has to be the disturbing one. Does not mean I don't recognize the genius that is, for example, that same Da Vinci I mentioned, or Raphael, or Botticelli, I mean, sure, uh, etc. There's there's a plethora of them. I mean, I recognize the talent and the beauty, but Bosch always had something that made me, um, made me think more than just admire. There's actually not much to admire in Bosch's works, in my opinion. I, there's, it's not the physical aspect of the painting that you admire, as, as I see it. It's more of a psychological one, which is perfect when it comes to the disturbing factor. Ah, yes. So the book itself, it's a very heavy piece of work, but a really, really cool looking one. Again, we are not going to analyze art here. This is not a channel for that. Plus, I'm not good at it because I know nothing about it. Again, I have to say it twice because 
a lot of people tend to rip things out of context and then yeah you're gonna be the guilty one for how could you not know that or you pronounced it wrong you said it wrong i know i might <laughs> We are here to talk about disturbing books. This book is disturbing as all fuck and is brilliant. It is very educative and uh, let's briefly discuss why it is disturbing. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to show you some, you know, pictures, obviously, um, the book. Uh, it has a lot of opinions of scholars, of various uh, uh, professors of art, of... Um, of people who collect art, etc. Um, because again, nothing, not much is known about Bosch as a persona. As an artist, well, we have what we have. And uh, let's start from the beginning, uh, which is religious paintings. Yes, religious paintings. Religious triptychs of uh, Eronimus Bosch. They are beautiful. Uh, I, I do believe that he is a uh, master of a background. In my opinion, his backgrounds are very underrated because, yeah, obviously, usually, right now, this one is very tame and, and nice, one of his earlier works here, uh, but, but usually his backgrounds are overlooked. I hit my microphone, I hope you didn't hear it. Like right here, for example, where it is specifically zoomed in uh, for that very triptych I just shown you, the background is zoomed in for your pleasure. So as you can see, I hope you can see, the very, very fine paint. Honestly, it could have just been your regular Netherlandish painter who just does nice things. But Bosch had a um, different idea on things. And that's where I come to like him even more. Let's look into it. Let's get it out of the way. The Garden of Earthly Delights. Perhaps, yeah, it's his most famous or infamous painting. And uh, to prove for my point further, I have the Garden of Earthly Delights on my uh, notebook here, the one that I use to actually write my uh, scripts <laughs> The one that I use for YouTube as well, and my own poetry even, so yes. So what we have here is the closed version of the triptych, that is the Garden of Earthly Delights. So at first you look, oh, you look at it like, well, that is somewhat interesting. Creation of the world, what can go wrong? Well, the triptych opens to this. And uh, as you can see, a lot, a lot can go wrong. At first we have the first panel, obviously. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit nervous because this is so exciting. There is a plethora of truly great videos out there about Bosch's work. So I'm not going to go deep into it, but I'll show you the disturbing parts so that you would understand why. It deserves a spot on this channel and a special mention. The very first panel um, depicts the, uh, well, paradise basically. It's uh, supposed to be heaven. And Adam here, I hope it will focus properly. You can see Adam here staring at Eve. There comes your sexual desire because, well, of course, and the middle, the midsection here, the middle panel, probably the most infamous one, arguably though. It has this fleshy pink I've been talking about. And whatever the fuck is going on here. People having sex in a clam, just like I said. I am not lying. As you can see, there's Garden of Eden here and naked people doing all sorts of weird shit. Amazingly done, I think. And the third panel, yeah. Well, the depiction of um, hell. Yes. I mean, disturbing? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. 
We have um, a man being seduced by a pig who is dressed as a nun. What do you do? We have a variety of creatures, weird creatures, and sins depicted. Yeah, the seven deadly sins. They're all in here in various forms. We have the Prince of Darkness eating eating people and shitting them out. There's somebody else shitting in a hole. Somebody's vomiting in the hole. Where people are being shat into. All sorts of weird ass crazy shit is going on here. And this one. Mm, this one is called um, amongst the uh, community uh, who are into the works of Bosch. This one is called the Tree Man. And it is speculated that this might be an author portrait of Hieronymus Bosch himself. Why not? So, according to the Bible, and well, the paintings of that time, of course, that it's based on the that are based on the biblical concept. Well, it is because of the ultimate sin, um, and because of uh, Adam and Eve uh, disobeying God and uh, consuming the apple from the tree of knowledge. They uh, were banished from heaven, and well, thusly, uh, yeah, depravity here. Thusly, 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 humanity suffers. I mean, yeah, I mean, it does look like some nice, intense, hardcore suffering. Well, just as we like it on this channel, am I right? <laughs> um, I could argue, I mean, this is, this is why Bosch's paintings make me think, and why one of the reasons I admire him I mean, yeah, sure, I mean, the apple, right? Take that uh, out of context for a second. Adam blames Eve in Bosch's paintings here. I can't find it right now, but it's almost in every depiction of uh, the banishing from the Garden of uh, Eden um, that, well, Eve made me do it, right? Women, right? Am I right? Uh, Eve ate the apple as much as I understood reading the Bible, yes, I have done it, which, by the way, is another disturbing book for the channel. Shall we do it? Is the Bible disturbing? Shall we? Or maybe let's not go there. Let's not harm the feelings of uh, the religious people. Although the very existence of this channel might be doing just that. <laughs> as I was saying, I got a bit distracted. Uh, Eve ate the apple because of her desire for knowledge and wisdom. On the other hand, Adam ate the apple only because Eve asked him to. So this is how the Haywain triptych looks like. And we have the first panel, which is basically what I've just talked about, the banishing of Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. And, <laughs> well, here's the serpent that gives Eve the apple, right? Um, and here's the uh, archangel, I presume, who is telling the guys that, get the fuck out of here, you screwed up, you know? And uh, we have, instead of the Garden of Earthly Delights here, we have this. Holy shit, what's going on here? Well, again, I'm not going to analyze this. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I have changed. It's been a long fucking day. Just like I said, uh, probably for the people of that time, Bosch's works were <sighs> disturbing indeed. Disturbing indeed. People were afraid uh, of hell and, you know, the, uh, the, the final judgment and shit like that. It has some aspect of discipline to it. Uh, that, you know, some people need to be told what is right and what is wrong, morally. Especially these days. It's, it's difficult to learn those lessons without a um, certain um, guide. And Bosch is a very decent guide to all of uh, those people out there who, um, who sin without giving it a second thought. Look here, for example, again, again, what is this shit? This is what I've been talking about. This is, this is the moment when the serpent gave Eve the apple and she's like, yo Adam, shit's good. <laughs> We're gonna be all powerful and all knowing. Maybe we are. Maybe we humans are. But at the same time, maybe that is what God, or in our case, Bosch, wants us to think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like disturbing content, consider giving this video a boost in the form of an erect thumb and a subscription perhaps. Take care ladies and gentlemen, I will see you soon. Goodbye.